Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Reforged Eden. My name is Sponge. I've come back to base here because last episode we picked up a guard. A human guard. And I wanted to see how this how this worked. Because basically uh, from the description it places a bed down and then a guard spawns and he patrols your base. I'm also going to put down this Project Eden poster because it looks rad. Look at this. Nice. Uh, so, let's see. Is the bed. Um, I haven't really got anywhere to place it, so I'm just going to place it sort of like down here. I think. We have a guard! <laughs> oh my god! Hello! <laughs> Patrol my base. Secure it. Make sure it is neat and tidy. Don't get lost or stuck in something, though. You found the stairs. That's good. Welcome to your new life. Ah. It's a lovely day. Yeah, just feel free to explore. Enjoy the surroundings. There's food in the fridge. You can help yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. You have to come up with a name for him. I like Bill. Bill the security guard. Bill! He doesn't respond to Bill. We're going to call him Bill anyway. Bill the security guard is on patrol. This is brilliant. You know, I wanted this for so long in uh, Imperial Galactic Survival because, you know, we want the NPCs that we can we can buy and stuff like that to have a use. Now, in vanilla, they have no use. They have no use in vanilla other than purely decorative. Um, but you gotta yeah, gotta give it to Revian and Vermilion because they just they just ah oh, they <laughs> they do what the developers just can't do yet. For whatever reasons, they're busy doing other stuff or whatever. Um, but they have obviously given us useful uh, NPCs now, which is fantastic, which is, which is just amazing. Uh, so Bill, our security guard, is our addition to our base, and he's going to look after this base for a while. Um, I do need to get the decorators into the base and actually put some paint on the walls. I put some posters up. I should put some lights up or something. I don't know, make it look a bit a bit nicer. But, you know, this, this base is kind of a throwaway anyway. I'm going to leave it. As soon as um, we're ready to sort of go off and join the IWC faction. Anyway, so that's cool. Bill, ladies and gentlemen, our um, our base guard. He will look after this base for the rest of his days, um, which is fantastic. Okay, so what I want to do today is kind of follow on from the last episode where we sort of decided that we needed to go and get some resources and explore the Delta system. I have the mission to explore Delta 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and the asteroid field. That's what we're going to do. Now, um, the X3, just sort of floating there, uh, is ready to go. I've dropped sort of most of the stuff that we looted or, or traded or whatever into the base. So the X3 has just got some uh, ammunition and spare fuel and things like that. And that's it. It's good to go. Um, I would like to find, if we can find while we're out and about, uh, Promethean, uh, sorry, Pentaxid asteroid or something, just to top up on our, our, our Pentax Pentaxid levels. Otherwise, uh, both of the bases, the, the, the Garden Gnome, plus my base there, are fully solar powered now, as long as I leave everything kind of switched off. Uh, apart from the guns, obviously, that would be, that would be insane. Uh, so, we should be good to go. Freaking great big shield generator. Um, X3 is ready, it's got fuel, it's got pentaxid, shields are charging. Yeah, this thing just lifts off like it's so crazy. Uh, but yeah, let's go into space. Where do we want to go first? Have we got uh, Delta 2 or 3? Well, there's Delta 3, and I believe that had the Neo on it. Yeah, it's got Neo. So let's go to Delta 3, our first stop. We're going to check out and see if we can get some Neo because we just need stocks of. Some resources. We just need the resources. Um, so that we can sort of build something new. Anyway, uh, one of the other things that I have requested is currently being voted on is a utility SV. You remember me saying we wanted to get rid of the, the little HV there? Well, I need something to replace it with that can do mining. So I've, I've requested a utility SV in the Discord. That's being voted on as we know. As soon as I know that, then I'll start working on getting that thing in. And we will be a mining beast, um, at least for a while, anyway. <laughs> um, here we go. 
down to three. Let's do a little cheeky ping. What have we got? We got a gist station like four kilometers away. I'm not sure how we detected that, but I'll take it. Wreckages and pentaxid asteroids. Swinger about, Captain. Let's go and get that pentaxid asteroid right now because we want a little bit of a stock of this stuff. Now, pentaxid in uh, Project Eden, Reforged Eden, is a little different from vanilla. Uh, the, the vanilla pentaxid asteroids are just regular sort of asteroids. They will give you a bucket ton of pentaxid and you will never need to mine pentaxid for the rest of your life in just one asteroid. Uh, so the um, Revian changed it a little bit because it was a little overpowered, which I kind of agree with. So the pentaxid asteroids are a bit different and they look like kind of little pentaxid hedgehogs. There you go. What they look like and they give you way less pentaxid, which sucks. But it was also, you know, kind of required <laughs> meaning that you do actually need to mine pentaxid more than once in your life and you know i have to keep mining pentaxid to to continue doing stuff which makes sense okay so all i've got is this little piddly hand drill um i could potentially fly the little hover vessel out at three meters a second and use that it will work i suppose it depends how slow this is and at the moment it's pretty slow um but yeah, I don't need to make you guys watch me do this, so I'm going to cut this bit out. So there we go. We've got about 243 raw pentaxid out of that. Bear in mind that, that a sort of vanilla asteroid would get you about 2,000 to 4,000 or so. <laughs> there you go. Kind of puts it into perspective a little bit. The change um, that uh, Project Eden does earn in pentaxid. So every now and again, we'll have to stop off at one of those pentaxid asteroids and just do that. Kind of, you know, dig some out. Um, the mining SV that I was just talking about is going to greatly increase uh, how quickly we get through those. So, you know, it will speed up and it won't become such a chore. Um, mining by hand sucks. But, you know, we'll get the tools. We will get the equipment. It'll be fine. Right. Down to three. Here we go. There's a smuggler's stash over there. Now, smuggler's stashes, I believe, are the ones that are unarmed. And... Um, I think they self-destruct. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. They could be armed. But I think they self-destruct if I get close to them unless I flip the right switch or something. I can't remember. But, but either way, I've got to destroy the core on these things. Let's just check it out. There's an abandoned shipping planet there as well. Uh, they must be armed because my guns are opening up. And there's a laser sentry down there as well. Okay, let's maybe deal with the laser sentry first, shall we? I don't think I can. It's sentry guns, after all. And I've got no manual fire weapons on this thing at the moment. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, they are actual laser guns. My mistake. Right, Gats. Do your thing. Look at the maneuverability of this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Can you actually catch up with me, turrets? Can you actually keep up? Can you? Can you? Can you? I think they can, actually. <laughs> But I am moving so quickly on the whole kind of spinny spinny. Is everybody feeling nauseous yet? <laughs> Me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, I think I think they are, I am throwing their shots off a little bit. Uh, but I, it is. I mean, my shields are going down. Uh, I don't even know if my turrets are hitting. I mean, the bullets are flying. The tracer rounds are flying way off. It's God knows where. And I think, to be honest, I'm, I'm forcing them to switch targets so often. Uh, I think it might just be better if I only... If I just tank one of them on my shields while my gats work over that. Like that. I think that's probably better. It's better for everyone, isn't it? <laughs> Let's just limit the fire, incoming fire, to just one turret. My shields could probably take that. The gats will have a much better time of taking that laser cannon down. And then we can switch to the other one, and nobody gets sick. <laughs> but it is a good demonstration of this ship's just maneuverable prowess, I would say. There we go. Okay. I might wait for a second until my shields recharge before I go after the next one. It's 60%. I don't know what, what the turrets are going to do. They're shooting through the blocks, I believe, possibly at generators or something on some such. There we go. I think we can tank this second one now. Okay. Let me look at my turret priorities one second. Turrets. Yeah, they're on everything, basically. So let's switch them to just turrets. There we go. And mounted weapons. 
don't really need mounted weapons. I mean, the AI doesn't use them, so they're just points of distraction, really, more than anything. Okay. Uh, laser sentry done. Uh, that should be it, guys. You shouldn't need to shoot anything. These things don't have any loot in them. As far as I can I remember, I think they are literally just a core a, a generator and a... Where the hell is that shipping pallet gone? And a... And a, and a uh, fuel tank kind of thing. Right, shipping container. Okay, these things have got those little sentry guns on them. See, these are a pain in the butt, you see, because uh, my turrets won't auto-target these guys. So I'm going to have to go in. Ammo missing. Are you kidding me? Come on, reload. And manually destroy the suckers. Assume I can't reach the other guy either. I'm going to have to go to a different turret. That's the underside of the side I was on. Oh, God. All the while, these sentry guns are just, like, toasting my shields. I haven't got gun depression on that one, so I'm going to have to switch to another turret. <laughs> Here we go. Take him out! Finally. Right, okay. Stop it. Now. Right. Smuggler's stash. You get out. There you go. We shoot that last sentry gun manually with my handhelds. And get roasted, as always, on the freaking engines on this thing. Right. That laser sentry is fine. Okay. So here's the smuggler's stash. And these things, um do that it blow up when you get near them but it didn't blow up <laughs> didn't blow up the loot though did you <laughs> you suck and we get all your bits and bobs as well lovely i'm okay with this change to hostile huh oops <laughs> oops well in fairness you shot at me first and so you changed me to hostile I suspect that if you do this one and you, you quick enough, you can shoot that and it won't detonate the stuff. I don't know what it detonated. I don't think it, we lost a lot. We still got a loot container out of it and we still got all this stuff. So. Uh, all good. Did I get everything? I think so. All of these. Yep. And there's nothing underneath. No. Well, there we go. The smuggler's stash, everybody. Easy source. Uh, and they're sort of dotting around it everywhere. Kind of thing, you know. Good little, little bits and bobs. Right. Now we were going to Delta Three. There it is. Let's do this. We are on the hunt for Neodymium, and there's another Pentaxid asteroid on the way. So I'm going to pick that up, and I'll meet you guys down on the planet. Let's see Delta Three. Some kind of barren desert planet. Should get. That marks off straight away. Dry planets such as these, good source of neodymium. That's what we're here for. So, the directs are everywhere as well. Promethean, we got iron. We're going to have to find ourselves the neo. Wow. Actually, this is quite a, quite a busy planet. Rocket base. Look at all the resources around this thing. Holy crap. Okay, let's go for the mountains here. A uh, bit dark. Bit dark, I apologize. But, uh, you know. Is that or the dark? <laughs> Neo, there we go. Neo, right next to a Rados base. Excellent. And there's another two nearby as well. Okay, this is going to be interesting work because that Rados base has got shields. Um, hopefully, we can get to that deposit without actually having to take down the base. There are drones, but the, uh, the turrets on the ship should keep us safe from those. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we're okay. We're a little dark. It's a little dark. Okay, ship is going to have to sort of hover, I think, because the, uh, the ground is not even, but I'll back up to the ground there. Should be good. Should be good. Do you know what? I've been going out all this time 
<laughs> been going out the hangar, mate. I've really just realised. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> what, a, what a dumbass. Right, you, sir. Unshielded HV, so we have to be careful. But uh, we should hopefully be able to get the Neo resource 100%. I really need to upgrade the left-right thrusters on this thing. It just does not turn. <laughs> it doesn't turn. Even with an empty load, it doesn't turn. Let alone, you give it a full full whack of resources. 89% efficiency as well. Poor. Anyway, uh, we can do Shift-O to turn on drill mode. Activate the drills. And forward we go. And we are getting Neo. Bingo! And we're in Xerox territory, so we're annoying the Xerox while we do it. Absolute bonus! Perfect! Some of these Xerox bases actually look pretty cool. Solar power plant. 100% shields, though. I think it's got maybe four guns on it. Oh, they're missile launchers as well. Cheeky devils. Well, never mind. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Fine, got shields. All good. Uh, so there we go. We a few. There's so much Neo here. That's crazy. I can't spend all day mining Neo. We got uh, 3,500 out of those. Pretty good. Not bad. Uh, they're all mediums. So, I mean, if we can find a very large one, that'll be great. But I think that'll keep us going for a little while. Uh, anyway, it's time to move on to our next planet. I just wanted to have a little explore around here. All the Xeraxian scumbags. Um, so where are we going next? We got Delta 3. We need Delta 4. Four, I believe. Yes, Delta Four, and Delta Four in orbit of at least anyway had uh, titanium, uh, magnesium. Sorry, magnesium. So we're going to stop on and get some magnesium in orbit around Delta Four, and then pop down and get the objective checked off. But just quickly before we do that, have a quick newsery around here. This might be a fun place to come uh, when we get a, like a combat SV in or something. Something with a bit more firepower and stuff than our, our blessed, our little um, mirage. Maybe a fun place to come and just trounce some Zraxian scumbags. There are many. There are so many. Com station, you've got the oxygen depot down there, an old classic. Um, more of these Rados bases which have shields, which is slightly irritating. And uh, com station. Whatever that thing is, refueling station. God, that's got shields as well. Crikey. Alright. Lots of shielded stuff. Fair. Well, anyway, let's get the hell out of here and go get some magnesium, shall we? Magnesium asteroid right behind us as we walked in. Plus two more pentaxid asteroids. I think I'll probably leave the pentaxid for now. I think we have enough to go. House Zenu transfer station. Lots of uh, Zeraxian scumbags around here. Uh, so I have to watch out, because if they aggro, I could get a drone swarm on me any second. Anyway, let's see. We've got a nice magnesium asteroid here. This is going to suck. <laughs> Without mining lasers or something like that on this little CV, which I suppose wouldn't be too difficult to get a couple of mining lasers on the front here. Um, and I think I probably have got the materials for it. I guess I just never really tried or looked into it. Um... This thing does have a constructor on it, but unfortunately I don't have any of the sort of variety of materials that I would require. Uh, i tell you what we can do with the, the constructor at least. Is get it going on um, ingotting all that Neo. That will save us some space. But yeah, we could get, uh, if we actually unlocked it. I mean, we can't because we don't have the materials once again. Um, laser drill modules. Or at least tool turret modules. Too difficult to stick either on this ship really. A nice tool turret on the nose, or the laser drills in the nose, or even a tool turret on the belly here. I think though I think they're half blocks, and that wouldn't work. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we could think of something. But for now, I'm sort of stuck either hand mining, or we can give this a go. It's a bit of a pain though. I'll show you what it's like. It's kind of like, um, well, everything's at sort of two meters a second for stars. <laughs> Touch me the hover vessel. But still, I mean, it, I think it will still be quicker using this little beast to mine the magnesium off this rock than doing it by hand. Yes, there you go. Plus, also, it's just a little more comfortable. 
even at three meters a second. It's effective. Wow, 4,400 or so um, magnesium out of one asteroid. Damn. That's going to keep us, that's definitely going to keep us going for a little while. Okay, uh, so we need to pop down onto Delta 4, which I believe is a dead planet. Um, to tick off the next part of our mission. And then it's onto Delta 5 or Delta 6. Now, Delta 5, I think, was the one that we wanted because that had titanium. Yes, that's got the titanium on it in orbit and on planet. Well, if we get 4,000 or so from an asteroid, I might just stick with asteroids, to be honest. So we'll go to Delta 5 next uh, but we first like kind of say we need to pop down onto onto this planet just to check it off for our mission just checking around sorry i thought we had some zaxian scumbag company then but we're all okay i think what is eight kilometers away is a pirate ship of some sort patrol vessel want to stay away from that now that i've definitely peed them off they started it they swear they started it here we go. Dead planet. Delta 4. Spooky. Uh, dead worlds are often a good source of salvage from um, the many ruins that can be found here. Oh, yeah. Many, many ruins. Exploration shells. All sorts of stuff. Uh, one of these planets is actually a starting location. And uh, you got to salvage your way, basically, to victory. Uh, but yeah, there's a huge number of wrecks all over this place. And it looks like there's some alien structures over here as well, actually. You can do a quick pass by on these. I do not believe they have any deposits on them, though. So everything is uh, just multi-tool charges, basically. <laughs> oh, they're no longer alien. They're, they're white, uh, whatever they are. Um, I guess they come up as alien at long range. Yeah, look at it. It's just little structures everywhere, look. Everywhere. You get destroyed farms, you get grow plots and stuff from here. Abandoned bio lab. Is it abandoned? Is it an abandoned POI or is it abandoned abandoned? Let's have a quick look. I don't think that these things have like crazy amounts of loot in them. It is all just oops. It is all just salvage. But let's have a quick look in on this one. For science and all that. No, I'm sort of halfway down on everything. Um, it's radioactive. It's temperate. I don't need an EVA boost from going into a POI. So let me just quickly switch over to um, multi. I'll keep my oxygen on there. That'll be fine. Yeah. No armor boost or anything, but that'll be okay. All right. Abandoned bio lab. I think this is just a one level POI. I don't think it has like some crazy deep dungeon in it. Let's have a little look around. Um... Again, from what I remember, maybe a few... Oh, hello. Helmet. Uh, maybe a few uh, spiders or something spawn, and that's about it. But yeah. Oh, look. Cookie. An abandoned cookie. That is it, I think. Is it? Okay. That was fun. Um, none of these doors... Ah! Dino stew! What a result! <laughs> what a result! Uh, oh yeah, okay, that's fine. That is just quite quite worth a little stop off just for the freaking med pods and stuff. Hell yeah! Uh, I don't, I'm not even going to pick that up. I'm not even going to bother picking that up. What a little garbo. Um, back to the bridge. Look at that! Not bad! Not bad at all. Um, yeah. Okay. Then a bio lab. I really shouldn't be using such a valuable gun to shoot through doors. I should just be using this. That was a bit of a delay, wasn't it? Oh, man, it's a door for crying out loud. You're a grenade launcher. I think it's terrible against doors. It's atrocious against doors. <laughs> oh, my God. To the entire clip of grenades. Uh, I guess it's uh, frag only, and uh, therefore does bugger all to a door. Come on, Xerax sniper rifle, show us how it's done. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> You're all an embarrassment to yourselves. Seriously? God, this is why I use the plasma rifle then, apparently. 
left every other gun I got is just garbo to doors. Right. Here's back out. Okay. That is it, other than getting the multi tool out and ripping stuff apart. Oh, and we got some box down here actually. That does not go in the fridge. But yeah, I think that the entire dead planet is basically covered in things like this. And so, um, you can, if we can find the core, uh, get a fair old amount of salvage out of this one of these things. And then you um, build ships and stuff with it. Not a bad start, actually. Anyway, moving on. we now got to go to uh, Delta 5, which I think is a snow planet. Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we've got company incoming. We've got some uh, Zanaxian scumbags. But also, I just picked up on a Polaris trading station over there. There's an interceptor coming in. Pentaxian asteroids, copper asteroids, Promethean and titanium, etc. Oh, basic maneuvers. Picked a fight with an incredibly maneuverable CV here, Mr. Interceptor. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I think you're all that, don't you? I think you're all that. I think you're clever. Okay, we've got maybe... we got any more incoming? You don't think so? Let's grab the bits from this interceptor. That is some important bits. Whoops, a daisy. I don't think I have an EVA on, so I've got to be quick. I don't even see what that was that we just picked up. <laughs> Stuff! Stuff is stuff and stuff. It's good. Uh, no, that was uh, plasma cells, type C plasma, plasma blaster ammo. Uh, which is actually, no, I bought the plasma blaster ammo from um, the trade station. Forgive me. Um, because I have a plasma blaster back at base and I want to use it because it is a fantastic weapon. It is just awesome. Uh, yeah, so there's titanium. I think there's titanium rocks up here in orbit, we said, didn't we? Uh, so if I can find one of those, that would be better. It would give me better yield, I think, than the deposits down there. Bearing in mind that four medium... No, sorry, three medium Neo deposits gave me 3,500. One magnesium asteroid gave me 4,000. It's a bit of a pain flying a hover vessel around an asteroid, but it works. It works and persistent pays off. Anyway, I want to pop in on this trade station and see what is going on there. And we got another interceptor behind me. Hang on, we got more coming up. We're in a fight. We're in a fight. Invasive maneuvers and all that. I tell you one thing: this ship is very good at. That is hunting drones. <laughs> oh boy, is it good! These things have got absolutely no chance against the maneuverability of this, this CV. Oh, you think you all flash as well, don't you? Huh? Think you good? I don't. <laughs> Die! Scumbag drones. Absolutely amazing. Impressive. Most impressive. Gonna say. Uh, more interceptor stuff. Go get that interdictor. Oh! That's a lot of tasty stuff. There's a lot of tasty stuff. I'm a little bit nervous about, like, you know, the roof of my... <laughs> the roof of the cockpit there being quite so exposed. Uh, but it's okay. Type A plasma cells. More plasma cells. Laser charges. Mark 200 laser charges. for a CV, that is. Marvellous. Okay, well, we were. Before we were so rudely interrupted... Uh, on our way to the Polaris trading station over there to check it out, to have a look-see, to see what the dealio is. So I don't think, hopefully, not going to get bugged by any more drones on the way. And I do not recognise this trade station. Oh, no, I do. I'm upside down. <laughs> I'm upside down. I know I recognise it now. Okay. No, it's fine. Uh, in that case, I know exactly what traders this place has got and what they sell. And I could probably get rid of that multi-tool, but... Uh, to be honest, it's at this point not worth my time. I should bring an entire trade box here. Okay, I just wanted to know what trade station it was uh, and figure out what traders they had and stuff like that. But uh, nothing new there. Okay, so we need to find our titanium asteroid somewhere around here. Um, and also just pop down on Delta 5 to check that one off on our mission. 
down to five then here we go nice snowy beautiful planet i do like the snow planets they're just majestic they are pretty af uh right snow planets cold world such as these good source of titanium uh needed to build capital ships not true not needed to build capital ships i mean useful for sure required though that would be inaccurate nice to have nice to have but there we go i'm not going to give revian too much crap about that <laughs> titanium is definitely good to have to build capital ships <laughs> i mean in I, I suppose in theory you do actually need it because some of the components do require titanium uh, but the hull for example doesn't need to be titanium it just be regular steel Anyway, uh, can I have a quick look around here? Because there are a couple of these pink triangles which may be abandoned POIs. Uh oh, there's an abandoned depot. Um, it's fine, we've got two of them back at home. We don't need to do that one. <laughs> it's cool. I don't need another abandoned depot. Uh, let's see what else we've got around here. There's probably going to be a bunker on this planet, I would think. Um, if there's an assembly yard, there's another depot there's an assembly yard then I might have to like mark that location and come back to that because I know that you guys want me to do the assembly yard it is absolutely uh, a monster of a POI a bit like the bunker oh by the way just uh, to <laughs> I realized I missed the switch in the bunker <laughs> my god <laughs> so many of you are yelling at me in the comments <laughs> I go switch blind I, I don't know what to tell you. I think it's like a it's a genuine condition uh, abandoned factory well interesting uh, so that's new. I, I don't think I've ever done an abandoned factory before. Aelstorm defense right next to it. We're going to have to get rid of that if we ever run it. Let's have a quick look. Oh, no, no. What am I talking about? Of course, it's the abandoned factory. Yeah, no, no. That's an oldie. Sorry, I just had a complete brain fart. No, I love the abandoned factory. It's a beast. Uh, yeah, it's a really good one. Yeah, but it's an old one. We've done it a million, million, million times. So um, nothing new there. A absolute brain fart moment. My apologies. Um, cool. Okay. Well, it might be worth a little bit more of a explore around this planet just to see. Uh, it has a lot of Xerax Rados style POIs and stuff. It may also have a lot of, as we can see, there's just three here, abandoned type POIs, which can uh, have really good loot in them, the factory being one of them. Um, but we have checked it off. Our list is done. We do need to go back into space and find ourselves a titanium asteroid. Unless this de this resource deposit that I'm coming up to right now is a very large titanium deposit, in which case I'll just stop and get that one. Communication center, landing pad, logistics terminal with 100% shields. Um. Oh, I thought it was coming up to resource deposit. I am so not coming up to resource deposit. They are miles away. They are absolutely miles away. Never mind. Okay, titanium asteroid found and gotten, and it, it yielded a whopping 1.7. Great, interesting, uh, the difference between the, oh, I missed a bit, oh, I missed a bit. The difference between uh, uh, the yield of a magnesium asteroid and a titanium asteroid. So I missed two bits, guys suck at this, right, <laughs> never mind, I'll be right back. So um, once we got, once we picked up this last bit of titanium then, we need to go to Delta 7 and the asteroid field. So down to seven is that one over there, which is a barren planet. Okay, so that's got the Sathium we want, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Sathium we want. And the asteroid field, uh, it's kind of meh. Okay, it's got copper. That's kind of a rubbish asteroid field, isn't it? <laughs> asteroid field we just have to pop in on. So I might pop into the asteroid field first, then whip over the Delta 7, and away we go. And we will complete our mission. Plus, then we will have um, a cargo hold full of the materials that we are low on. Fantastic. Asteroid fields can be a good source of various ores asteroids with a good uh, composition depending on star type, random chance, uh, but can also be full of danger. Caution is usually advised. Um, there appears to be, yeah, there's a few pirates here, there's some Zudaxian scumbags here, um, and there is a mining facility. Uh, facility? facility now these polaris mining facilities i think that you can buy quite significant amounts of ore from them if i remember correctly i'm worried about that no it's a dion 3 or whatever uh super old wait what's a dion 3 doing here crappy old POIs. um yeah in space 
I think you can buy a lot of ores from these places is what I'm trying to say. And uh, we're going to just pop in on this one and have a quick look to see what they're selling. Because if they're selling... I don't know. If they're selling ore miners at a cheap price, I might buy a couple just to get me some freaking Promethean, you know? Uh, I could be stopping at these Promethean asteroids and picking up the Promethean as well. It's just it's... I want to get this recording done. <laughs> it takes a bloody long time to do all this stuff, so... I'm going to stop uh, outside of the scope of our mission. Let's have a look. At, ooh, hello, cheeky. Hello, cheeky. Let's maybe turn the inertia on. That might help. We are. I think the traders are on that platform anyway. So this is the same asteroid as that is in the, the missions. You recognize it straight away. Okay. Traders? No traders. Traders! <laughs> Just didn't appear yet. Uh, so, oh wow, yeah, look at this. Amazing. So, ah, we can sell them uh, auto minor cores, EVA boosts, light armor, medium armor, force fields. So, yeah, you get, you get enough of those force fields from friggin' the, any of the loot. Um, you worn out laser drills, you worn out enhanced laser drills. I suppose you can't repair these, can you? So, that might work. Uh, you can also sell them crew, like slaves. Uh, or you can buy. Sathium, titanium, zescosium, arrestrum, neo. Not bad. Oxygen, hydrogen. Actually, not a bad rate. Um, zescosium is very expensive, but I suppose that makes sense. And that's per ore. So that'll build up very quickly. You can buy 2,000 of that. Oof. Oof. And you're out of money very quickly. Okay, so, and this guy, um, you can buy promethium, magnesium, stathium, aluminium, and neodymium. Okay. Not bad. So you can buy the ores. I mean, their stock levels are uni, which sucks. If you want to buy like several thousand Zascosium, for example, you're out of luck. <laughs> yeah, bang out of luck. But there we go. I mean, you can buy a bit of ore from these guys. It's all good. Anyway, thought I'd pop in on that one and show you guys that. Now, the rest of the asteroid field is kind of meh. So we're going to move on uh, to Delta 7 the last on our mission here and then we're going to pop back to the UCH camp then and see what we got to do next well Delta 7 is a bloody big planet, holy crap I just warped in uh, this close to it <laughs> ok so we have Promethean asteroid um, iron and pentaxid asteroids in orbit, actually nothing coming up on the detector thing but um, let's pop down on this giant toxic looking planet. I think this is just a barren type world. Uh, but the, the green hue around it gives it a kind of radioactive <laughs> uh, look to it, really. Uh, we're finding, we're looking for Sathium, and this is the last sort of um, material that we're looking for today. And then, like I say, we'll head back, drop the mission off. You've completed your survey. You should report your findings to the UCHN Odyssey. Bingo. Uh, yeah, so we will report back to the Odyssey and then uh, and then head back to base I think start turning all these ingots into ore uh, once I found a Sathium deposit and mine it out uh, as for the rest of this planet holy crap this is a big planet <laughs> very large um, yikes okay this is going to take some fuel to get around this one isn't it uh, oh great iron uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to find some Sathium. This is the problem as well. Is there are 60 Sathium deposits on this planet. There are also hundreds of other types of deposit. So, might be looking for a little while. Burning a lot of fuel while they do it. Ah, oh, wow, brilliant. Yeah, finally found a Sathium deposit. And it's very small. Ha, <laughs> Christ. Oh, boy. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, well, I'm going to stop by and get that one anyway. Um, jeez. Uh, <laughs> Gotta be a better way of doing this, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we got plasma drones and minigun drones and all sorts of drones and every all the drones. All the drones are here. I want to kill the drones, please, turret. It's not whatever's on the ground. Yeah, plasma turret. Plasma turret, go. Make it, make it dead. There you go, there you go. 
Yeah, uh, if they're very small, I'm going to want several of these deposits. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is maybe there are Cetium asteroids somewhere. Oh yeah, look, Delta. Delta 6 Cetium asteroids. Perfect. Because uh, very small Cetium deposits on a very large planet is just not worth the fuel, the time, and the effort. Uh, but an asteroid, even if it's just one in a, in a space sector, that will yield... Fair old amount more, I suspect. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room for the older the hover miner there. Okay, I think we can turn thrusters off when we grab this. It's not going to take very long. In fact, I might even hand mine it. By the time I get the freaking hover vessel out and stuff. Um, What is it? It's 20 meters down? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think an asteroid would be better. Anyway. Uh, the good news is we've completed our mission, so I'm going to dig this one little very small satium thing up, and then we're going to head back to the UCHN Odyssey and see what um, our next mission is. Hey, welcome back to the Odyssey. We go see the captain, I think, uh, unless the Revian's changed it, uh, the captain's going to give us another mission to explore all the sectors. Let's see what he has to say. Hello. Awesome. He has nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Welcome to Iberian Galactic Survival, everybody! Yeah! Oh! Wow. Uh. Well. <laughs> Either my internet is gone, or Steam has crashed. Alright, internet's back up, so now we can talk to the captain. Uh. Oh, uh. Well, actually, it says open PD PDA. Oh, okay. Is that all we needed to do? Just open the PDA. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Uh, make contact with Terra Forces done. Project Induce CH Survey Delta System done. So for that we got an auto minor core. Excellent! That's what I wanted! <laughs> I wanted an auto minor core. Put an auto miner down on um, a Promethean deposit now. And actually start getting some serious amounts of fuel. That would be lovely. Okay, so let's talk to the captain here then. What else we got? Oh, thank you for your help with serving in the system. Uh, if you haven't already, speak to the captain. Um, I'm sure they could use some help as well. To reach other star systems, you'll need a world of warp capable capital vessel. Well, I must have had a warp capable ship to get here, but I suppose it could have been an SV, so I'll let you off. Anyway, hi! Welcome. Survey non repeatable. Oh. Hmm. Damn. Well, I thought we could get another mission um, to explore all of the systems, but maybe we need to go to each system and talk to each captain to do that. There is, I believe, from last time I played Project Eden, if you survey all of the local, the like starter systems, so that's like Delta, Alpha, Ypsilon, um, and the Rogue, Alpha, Beta, Ypsilon, Rogue, and the Delta, you get like a nice reward for all of that. You get a nice sort of, nice little bonus. Hey, there's a Vendetta. There's an ASC Vendetta. <laughs> Those little bastards. <laughs> All right, where's my boat? Um, there it is. Okay, so yeah. Uh, oh, bugger. It's run out of power. It has been since I had the little problem with the internet. Over a day. It's been 24 hours. So, oh. It's run out of power. And do you know what that means? Oh, I can't remember what I had. It doesn't look like I had a huge amount, to be fair on the whole kind of spoilable stuff. So there's like, oh, there's, there's only about five things that are spoiled in there and I can't remember what was in there. It'll be fine because most of my food is back in the base anyway. Um, and I think I've got some spare power in here, 50 fuel packs. Yep, okay, so I'll just offload that in there. And um, yeah, I'll put some of the fuel in there. It's a shame, ah, internet problems happen, don't they? Anyway, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, ship is powered back up again. I'm gonna head home. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do is next episode I'll show you auto miners and how they work. Um, after that, we've got a bunch of other missions that we can do. One of which is the Infected, which is a fantastic mission. Really, really good. Uh, and the Dead Worlds as well, which is brilliant. This one's going to take us a long time to complete though. Uh, so that'll be sort of something I do in the background. Otherwise, we've got uh, Survey Habitable Systems. This is a new one. I've not done this, but this seems like another background one that we can do as we go. It does say that we need to buy some um, basic system survey probes. You can build probes in the deco tab of small, large, advanced constructors. So we'll see if we can build some of them. I think the dude on the ship there was selling them as well. And of course, Revenge, 
which is um, another background one that we must remember to activate if we ever attack, well, when we attack another Xerox installation. Slays 50 Xerox soldiers and three Xerox commanders just for the giggles of it. Um, so yeah, we've got lots and lots to do uh, to keep us going. And uh, this the, we're only just beginning. We are only just beginning uh, our journey into Project Eden now that we have a CV and we are mobile. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And hopefully... I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.